Tschüssi. Says like, what? It's Monday. Hello and welcome to draw. Oh, I almost had it on there the whole time. Together, I'm Wendy Mac. That was Suso. This is Caroline, the art assistant. Say hi, Caroline. She's shy. So happy to see you. It's Monday, and let's see. It's Memorial Day. Oh, that's right. Here in the United States, it's Memorial Day. That's where we celebrate all the people who um, are in the military or are veterans. And I think maybe all over the world, there's a day maybe where we celebrate folks in our home countries that um, have served our country. So that's what we're doing here in the United States. And we're still in class. So we're here and we're gonna draw and it's gonna be a super fun day. And if I look a little schwitzy, that means sweaty, it's because it is hot in San Francisco and I'm wearing a wool hat because I did not take a shower. How about you? Okay, we should probably get to drawing. All right, um, so I'm Woody Mac, we're in San Francisco. Where are you out there today? Let's see, I see Padua, Italy. I see Gerson in Turkey. Did I say that right? Gerson? Uh, Newcastle, Australia. I see Springfield, Missouri. I see Fort Wayne, Indiana. Wow. And what's your name? I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy you're here. Okay, so we are here to draw together. And let's see, what do we need in order to do that? We have our home studios all set up, right? Everybody's in their home studio, but we're all here to draw together. So we have a pen, we got some paper, pencil, we got some colors, we got some paints. If you have paints, that's fun. If you don't have any colors, that's fine too. You can either imagine them or just use a pencil and have it be monocolor because that is significant. All right, so let's see. We are, last week was, Food week and this week and that was so fun Samin Nasra came in on Friday how fun was that oh my gosh um, thank you Samin for letting us invade your kitchen she taught us how to make toast from all over the world if you haven't checked that out the lessons up on my Instagram feed um, today we are going to start our week of reflection that's the week where we look back on everything we've done together because my gosh it's been what 10 past weeks, this is our 11th, 12th week? 12th week, wow. 12th week drawing together. And we have all learned so much and made so much wonderful art and had so much fun. So it's nice to take a little bit of a moment to kind of step back and look at everything we've done. So we're doing the week of reflection because it is our last week of class. Don't worry, 
camp will be coming soon and we'll talk about that. But so for our first week of ref first day of the week of reflection, let's just start off with a little warm up that we do all the time. It's a really good one. It's kind of helping us ground because I don't know if you can tell that my energy is kind of a little all over the place. So maybe you're feeling the same way. Come on over here and let's do a little warm up. We're going to do our heart spiral that we do today. We're going to do that today. Our heart spiral kind of helps us settle down. Anytime we're feeling a little frazzled, we can always do this. I'll just put my pen right there. And I'm going to start making a little, little spiral going around there. You want to do a little heart spiral with me? Hmm. You just want to keep your pen going around so the lines don't touch. Take a deep breath in and out. Another one in and out. And our pen or a pencil or crayon or whatever we're using moves really slow. And we kind of concentrate. We're not holding too tight. We're not trying too hard. We're just keeping our pen moving and not stopping. And already, I'm noticing that I feel calmer and I feel quieter than I did when we started. Are you noticing anything like that? Check in with yourself while we're just making our heart spiral. and Check in and see how you feel right now. What's your weather right now? Let's do a couple other ones. Deep breath in, and breath out, and in, and out. Ooh, that's fun, because we can deep breath in, we can take a deep breath with our line. One more in. Let's do two more breaths. Out, in, and out. And let's wrap it up with a heart at the end. That felt good. How'd that feel? Good. Can I see your spiral? Yeah. How's your weather inside? Yeah. It is sunny outside here, and it's sunny inside here too. Also a little like got a little quiet fog going, which feels really good and is nice for drawing. Okay. So I'm gonna take this piece of paper. And I'm going to flip it over. You can always use the back side. One thing maybe we notice, do something we haven't done in class before. You take your piece of paper and pinch it between your fingers, just real loose and go like this. It's thin, right? Thin piece of paper. Now feel the back, feel the front. Do they feel a little different? They feel a little bit different, right? Drawing paper on the front side and the back side is always a little bit different. If yours is the same, maybe it's printer paper or something like that, that's fine too. No right or wrong paper. But sometimes we can tell which is the front and the back side. But we can use the back side too. Just a little pro tip right there. Threw something at you. A little new thing. All right. So let's see. We are looking back at what we've accomplished in the past 12 Weeks? 11 weeks? This is the 12th week. It is the 12th week. I think so. I think it's the 11th. We really? know what? We don't know. Apparently we lost we've count. Lost count. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> but what we do know is that the very first day of class, we drew a... We knew a doggy. It wasn't a Suso doggy, but it was a doggy. Does anybody remember that? Some of you were here the first day. Yep. And those of you who weren't, the lesson's up on YouTube. You can go look at it. But we thought it would be really fun and interesting to draw the same dog today, the first day of the last week of class that we drew the first day. And we can see if it feels any different when we draw that dog. How does that sound? Good? All right, come on over here and let's draw a dog. Let's draw it. No. No. <laughs> we can also just look at Suso. Who doesn't want to just look at Suso all the time? I know I want to. 
That sounds like fun to me. All right. All right. So who remembers what this way is when we have our, pen, our paper facing this way? Not this way, but this way. That's right, it's landscape. There's something you all learned. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna use my pencil. I'm gonna use a pencil because we're gonna use, do some shapes. Um, but you can use a pen or a crayon or anything you want. Okay, and I'm gonna start this dog. Does anyone remember how we started off? By making some big shapes. Make one circle here. You see that circle? Am I drawing a little too light? Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Then I'm going to draw another circle attached to it, a smaller circle. Right there. Okay. Now you might think this is the head of a dog. But in fact, no. The head of the dog is going to be right here. Now remember, everything that we draw is made up of shapes. Same shapes, circles, triangles, rectangles. So here's our dog shape, do you see that? You cut your three circles down. Here's where the magic starts happening. How do we turn this into a dog? Let's connect that here. Oh, already, look at that. You can kind of start to see a dog. Maybe this is a dog head, a dog neck. Let me take this, connect that there. Look at that. How's that going? All right. Now here's what's this. This is the dog body, and this is the dog booty. Dog booty. Let's make a dog booty that turns into a dog leg. Dog leg. Just kind of the top of the dog leg like that. I see that happening. I see that happening. How'd that go? All right. Now dog legs are funny because they kind of they kind of go backwards, sort of. Anyway, whatever. We'll just draw a dog leg like this. Boop. And then we'll do. I did kind of a funny leg here, didn't I? Yeah. See how it kind of goes at this wonky angle? It's not what I meant to do. So what do we do when we do something that we didn't mean to do? Well, we can roll with it, or we can say, meh. Let's see, you know what? I'm gonna actually do this on this one. I'm gonna go like this, because we can also do that. We can do it over if we want. There's no rules. There's no right or wrong way. We can kind of do whatever we want. Boy, is this a silly looking kind of dog leg here. Boy, my dog leg is looking sillier and sillier. <laughs> it's a funny day for dog legs. Sorry, Suso, I'm making you look a little bit more like a toy soldier or something like that. Memorial Day. All right. And I'm going to attach <laughs> this dog leg here. We're doing the front legs now. And I'm going to go down. Whoop. Oh, I realize, I think part of the thing is I've made this, day, this leg really, really long. I'm just going to make it shorter here. There we go. I think that helps a little bit. What do we do when we make, what do we call them? No mistakes. What did we learn from Bob Ross? They're called happy accidents. That's right. And every time we make a little happy accident, we get a kind of did make a decision we can either turn it into something new or we can do what we did before and we can go ah, ah, and then kind of do it over again i'm just gonna let this be because some days are funny days okay some days are funny dog leg days that's all good all that matters is that we're having fun so here's the front legs I'm kind of talking and talking too much so here's the front legs right front. Oh, side legs. Thank you. <laughs> you are assistant Caroline. <laughs> All right, side. Here's the front legs. Here's the back legs. But here we're doing these ones that are in front, right? Now, what do we talk about when something's near to us, right? Closer to us, it's bigger. And when something's further away, smaller, right? And we talked about that near and far. We talked about that scale. 
Yep. And let's do one here. And if it's behind, what's going on here? You can't see it because the one in front is kind of in the way. So look at that. The back one is further away, smaller. Front one, bigger. Good job. I know this sounds, you all are pros. You've done this so many, so many times. Let's make this back here. So we just connect these circles here. Look at that. Whoop. All of a sudden we have a dog back. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a flat back dog. There we go. Now let's make a dog face. Because this dog right now, <laughs> we can't see if it's smiling. So let's just make one little line that goes off here. Boop, an angle, just like that. And now one line that goes here. And one line that goes here. What? Dog. Look at that. And then for the nose, right on the end, another circle. Dog ear. Dog ear starts at the top of the head. There's all different kinds of dog ears. Now remember, there's so many different kinds of dogs. And they all look different. Some have longer legs, some have shorter legs, some have wider bodies or slimmer bodies, some have ears that go boop, boop, up like that, some have ears that go back boop, boop. Well, actually, if they go like that, it might mean that they're kind of feeling a little bummed. But I thought we'd give these one kind of suso. This is like Suso. Now see how we made this circle here? Remember, if you're using a pencil, you can always just go and erase it. If you're using a pen, that's cool, because it's neat, because if, if you leave these shapes here, I'm erasing the inside shapes here. If you leave them, it's neat, because it kind of shows this is what I did, how I made it, and that's always neat for people to see. And if you erase it, suddenly you have this dog. I get a little more like that. And then where's the eye? The eye, go right here. Let me go eye. Hello. Hello. Hello, doggy. Hello, dog face. Hello, happy dog. So let's give the dog a big smile. Start at the nose. Ready for the big dog smile? Start at the nose and we're gonna swoop it back. Ready? Swoop it back. Yes. There we go. How's that? It's a silly looking dog. Let's see the silly dog. Hello, silly dog. It's got a big body and a little head. Eh, we're all shaped different. There's no right or wrong way to be a dog. As long as the dog is feeling good about being drawn. So I just put a tail up. Tails. How do we tell if a, if a dog's happy? Yep, yeah, we can always look at its tail. And now, who remembers how we make a tail wagging? We've done this. Made some movement on that. Remember how we do that? Yep. A couple little lines. Look at that. Nice, nice. Good job. All right. So now we have our basic dog. Can I see your basic dog? We do a quick check-in. Good job. Everybody's having so much fun with their dogs. There's different shapes dogs, different dogs that are bigger in front or bigger in back. Lots of loopy circles I see. Looks like everybody's having fun drawing their dog. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now we've drawn our dog. Let's see, what do we remember? We did it before, what did we do? Well, we gotta put some clothes on this dog. I mean, it's all good to be a naked dog because I mean, Naked dogs are happy dogs, but I'm gonna put this little collar on this dog. I'm gonna give it a little heart. Happy. You know what else is kind of fun? So you remember when um, Samin Nosrat came to class and we met Fava, her cutie little dog. Fava had, was wearing something. What was Fava wearing? A cape. Maybe we could do a little cape. Whoosh. Super dog. So maybe this one is a Draw together dog. Super dog. That's fun. All right. And what else did we do when we first drew this dog? Does anybody remember? We learned something the very first day that we talk about almost every day. 
I'm going to start doing it right now and see if you remember. Remember when we did this? What are we doing? I'm just making some fur hair on the dog. Just drawing these little lines. And what did we discover? Does anybody remember? I remember we discovered it together. That when we made these little lines, it was kind of like doing a heart spiral. It was calming and it was relaxing. I remember that first week, if anybody was here, remember it was, we all kind of were in it together. I mean, we still are, but it was like, whoa, what are we doing here? It's our first day of class and the quarantine had just started and we weren't really sure what was gonna happen. And we sat down together and we said, well, we don't know what's gonna happen. We've got a blank page in front of us, but we're in it together and we're gonna draw a dog. And that's what we did, and we did it together, and we found that drawing together was fun and made us feel good, made us feel focused and centered and relaxed, and kind of felt some of our feelings, talked about it, and we ended up with a pretty neat looking dog that we could hang on our wall. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Did you do some here? That's always a nice thing to do. Be calm. All right. We can paint this doggy too. Paint this doggy. All right. What else did we learn? Let's see. So we learned those things and we learned if there's a sun up here, if there's a sun here, what's going to happen right here below the dog? Can we remember? Shadow. So if the sun's coming here, the light, it could be a lamp too, you know, but if there's a light coming here, there's going to be a shadow under that dog, right? Because the dog is going to block the light. Just like when you're standing outside and you go do 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 and you do a dance with your shadow. Shadow dance. Oh my gosh. Shadow dance sounds, sounds like fun. Maybe after class we'll do a shadow dance. Okay. Yep. That's our shadow. That's our cast shadow, our drop shadow. There we go. Good job. I can't, you all remember this. You're all basically our pros. We've learned so much this, this, what do we call it, a semester? What am I drawing now? Does anybody remember what this is? Yep, I heard people say horizon line. That's the horizon line. And, and now if this is the horizon line and our dog is in the front here, and we put stuff in the back. What's the stuff in the back? It's going to be what? Because it's farther away. Yeah, smaller. So I'm going to put some mountains back there. How does that sound? Do some mountains. Remember when we do mountains? We draw them. Whoop. We've got to make some sound effects for these mountains. Whoosh. Ooh, whoosh. Whoosh. We have some farther away, so they're littler. Like that peeking up. Mountains. Background. This one, may I remember? Foreground. Yeah. You can even believe how much you all have learned. We have done so much in just a few weeks. We've learned so much. All right. So here's our little dog. Let's see. One other thing we'll do before we'll paint this little dog. Actually, I drew mountains. We do this in every class. I drew mountains just because they sound like they'd be fun to draw. But if there's something you want to draw, if you want to make this drawing yours, you can put, oh, I don't know. Maybe there's, it's a snow cat mountain. Or maybe, maybe you decide, you know what, over here, I want a little city peeking out. Or maybe you just want to put a city in the background or a house in the background. You could put a house. Look at that. All of a sudden there's a house. Whatever you want to do. This is your drawing. There's no wrong way to do it. No right way to do it. It's whatever you want to do and whatever you think is the most fun to put in your drawing. Okay? All right. Here we go. Can we just look at that dog real fast? Oh, what? Oh, look at all those things you did. Look at so, oh my gosh. 
You did the fur and you calmed and you centered, amazing. You did the scale, the big and the small, the foreground and the background, near and far. Whoa, what else? You did the light and the shadow. You did line and shape. All of these things you did in that drawing, you've learned so much. All right, now let's just do some quick painting here. I'm gonna grab a little bit. Uh, let's see, actually, I'm gonna make this doggy into a Suso doggy. So what color is Suso? You can make your doggy any color. It could be a blonde dog, a brown dog, a black dog, a spoke, a spoke, spoke dotted, spoke it, spoke dotted dog. Polka dot. <laughs> Thank you, polka dotted. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. A polka dotted dog. It could be a rainbow dog. Any kind of dog you want. I'm just gonna make this one a Suso dog. So, she's, she's kind of an old dog. She's gray. I'm gonna paint this in here, just real quick. Painting is also another thing that's kind of like drawing the fur on a dog where you really get to relax. It's like coloring. There's different ways to paint. Like the way we're painting right now is like coloring. Real simple. And mostly just about relaxing. Kind of like we can hear Suso relaxing in the background because she's snoring. Does anybody hear her? <laughs> it's pretty hot in the home studio today and I think that's, uh oh. Got some blue on my hand. It looks like I got some blue on her face. Oh well. It's okay. I'm gonna make her give her a little heart here. And then I'm going to let's see. Give her a little cape. A little cape. Make that bright pink. That's fun. If you want to give your dog Maybe you have a dog at home and you want your cape to say your dog's name like Samin's fava bean said FB on it. I'm gonna make Suso's cape a draw together cape. So we can, if you want, if you wanna join me, we'll wait till that dries. And then, in the meantime, I'm gonna make these, get some green mountains in the background. Just a little bit of color, just, just to brighten it up. Today was just a fun day of, like I said, reflection, just to see how much we've done, more than I think we ever imagined, how much we've learned, how far we've come. It's fun to look back and say, wow, look at all that that we learned that we never expected we'd learn because then we can think, my gosh, if we learned all of this and never expected we'd do this, just imagine what's to come. I mean, who knows? Who knows? We never know. And sometimes it's hard not to know. Sometimes it's like, ah, oh, but I wanna know. But if we can hold that feeling and also think, but what, what if, what if? We can learn so much. There's so many fun things, exciting things to come. And it makes some little grass, just some little grass. Just a little grass, kind of like dog hair, but with paint. And then I'm gonna make, let's see if this is dry. Is that dry? All right. A sideways draw together. DT. DT. <laughs> and then maybe just a little bit of blue sky. I think I'm going to keep painting after class because we're just out of time. But there's so much more to paint in this one. Blue skies. Maybe some of the city, the, whatever you want to put in yours, blue sky, maybe some sunshine. Maybe there's like a little bunny down here or something like that. Or, hey, maybe there's some treats. Whatever you want to put in your drawing of your dog. All right. Can we do a show? 
We do a show. On the count of three. One, two, three, show. <gasps> wow! Look at that dog. Look at all the things that you learned. And I see you doing it all with a lot of fun. I see you making that, all of those shapes and those lines, those shadows, those scales, those figs, those foregrounds, all of that, the composition. I see you practicing. I see you trying. I see you going, oh, I tried this, it didn't work, but I'm gonna change it, like that. And all of a sudden, look at what you made. I'm so proud of you. Wow. We've come a long way. And we're not done yet. Tomorrow, right? Let's see. We have class tomorrow. We have class for the rest of the week. Then class will be over, but then don't worry. There's an announcement coming. We will have camp continuing after that. So more details on that later. And I wanted to tell everybody one thing. Now, this is a big deal. It's the last week of class. And what do we do as a culmination of art school? Well, I'll tell you. We have a huge, large, big, international exhibition. <sighs> Who's been to a large, big international art exhibition before? Few people. Well, let me tell you, they're awesome. And you are in it. Yes, it's our Draw Together show. So what you wanna do over the next couple days is choose your favorite one, two, maybe three drawings from the class, and then we are going to post them, all of them. And the hashtag is Draw Together 2020 because we're the class of 2020. And on the last day, we're gonna have this huge exhibition. So start picking out your drawings, and over the next few days, I'll remind you to post them to that one, and it's gonna be so neat to see all of our drawings from all over the world. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Let's see, anything else I forgot? Mm, oh yes, all week is reflection. We'll be doing really wonderful stuff about graduating because we are graduating from Draw Together 2020. Um, and that graduation's on Friday. <coughs> So don't, excuse me, um, don't miss graduation on Friday, okay? Very special day. Love drawing with you. Thanks for coming to class. Pencils up, my friends. Pencils up. Pencils up. One, two, three. Everything is better when we draw together.